All right, so this video is raw. This is like my direct reaction after having obviously just crashed my Inspire 2. Uh, and, you know, with these videos, I like to try to provide like as much worth as possible. Like, I never want you leave in one of my videos thinking I didn't learn something or I didn't take something away from that video. Uh, and <laughs> really, I I'm, I'm so in the moment, like this just happened, so I'm still trying to process you know, what I want to say and, and almost like what happened. Really, the thing that I want to say is just always be careful with your drones. I mean, this is new technology, yes. Uh, you know, obviously they've refined this technology over the years. The Inspire 2 is a four, five, six-year-old drone at this point. Uh, I think that mine's about four years old just because I bought it a little bit late. But I think the biggest thing that I want to say here is like, when you take your drone out, it, there's always a liability. There's always a risk. There's always something that can happen, whether it's pilot error, whether it's, uh, you know, determined by the weather, if there's a high gust of wind, whether you just totally lose control, which is what happened to me. So I guess you're probably wondering the backstory behind this totally busted up Inspire 2. I actually just got this fixed. I had actually crashed it. I clipped a tree. It fell about 50 feet. One of the legs kind of bent off uh, and they actually had to replace, I, I forget, I think it was this leg over here. They fully replaced this leg on the left side. So um, I actually went with a local repair shop. They fixed it. They, you know, put the leg back together. I took the drone home. This is now my first time flying it. It is the 12th of June. Um, so I took the drone up. Everything was fine. I did a couple of loops, probably two minutes into the flight. The drone just starts going absolutely crazy. It starts spinning around like a top. So if you look at my flight record, uh, I've got it here on the DJI Go application. We'll kind of scrub through here. And as you get about a minute and a half into the flight, the drone veers a little bit to the left, does a complete 360, almost tries to correct itself, and then just goes into a death spiral. And what's crazy is that at this moment, it was just spinning in place. Like it was keeping its altitude, but it wasn't dropping. I mean, I was doing everything that I could. I was going on to, uh, you know, sport mode into adding mode into position mode, doing anything to try to regain control of it. And as you can see, it's over this little field area, which thank God it was. But I mean, really, like, that's the main reason that I want to make this video, because what if I hadn't test flown this drone? What if I had just taken it out to Philadelphia and flown over the Schuylkill River? And as I was flying, you know, up and doing a reveal, you know, of, of the... Um, of the art museum and the city skyline in the background, what if the drone just fell out of the sky and into the water? What if it fell, uh, you know, over a parking lot and damaged someone's car? What if in this instance, I was flying my drone over someone's home, it fell onto their roof to damage their roof, and now I'm liable to repair their roof? I mean, there's so many things that could potentially go wrong. And in a situation like this, you might come out and be gun shy, right? Like it's sometimes if you get a speeding ticket, you're like, man, I really gotta watch my speed and you're gonna start driving slower. So in this case, like with a drone, if you crash it like this, you know, in your mind, you start to lose faith in that drone and in this technology because anything like this could happen. Like literally, I didn't do anything wrong. I was flying around a minute and a half into the flight. The drone decided to just go into a death spiral. So I think... The main thing to know out of this is like, just, just be careful really, because this is technology that absolutely can do damage, especially something of this size, whether it's a person, whether it's property, whether it's anything, you really just need to be absolutely careful. And I think that this is a really good learning experience for myself because sometimes I really do like to push the limits with my drones and it's almost making me second guess things that I should be doing and shouldn't be doing in the future with them. Now, I will say that because this is a relatively older drone, there has been some issues with the Inspire 2 related directly to this issue. I know that my friend Brett from Elevated Angles, he's got a great Instagram account. He actually had a similar issue where he had a drone go down uh, and Inspire 2 in Fairmount Park, I believe. So he had a similar issue. Luckily, he had insurance on the drone and was able to cover it. But in this situation, I'm hoping that the person that repaired it is going to be able to make it right for me because obviously this is my first flight after getting it fixed and then it just ended up falling from the sky. So that's kind of the route that I'm going to go here. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think that as technology has gotten better with new drones we have out like the Mavic 3 and the Mini 3 Pro, obviously DJI has tweaked their, fl their flight software to make these drones better, make them more resilient, make them more uh, redundant and things of that nature. Um, I mean, if you look at some of their new commercial drones like the M30 and M300, those have a very high level of redundancy built in for anything that might happen like this where the drone just goes down into a death spiral. So this is what a crashed Inspire 2 looks like. It is caked with dirt and again, 
I'm very fortunate that I was in a remote area where the drone was able to just tumble down and fall into a field. But again, heaven forbid, if I was like covering an event with my Inspire 2, uh, you know, if, if I was doing something in a more populated and crowded area, I don't know what I would have done if it would have hit someone, if it would have hit a building, if it would have damaged someone's property. So the thing to take away from this video is just be careful with your drones. I mean, it's so easy to have have so much trust in them and see what other people are doing, but just be careful. And I'll definitely keep you guys updated with what happens on my Inspire 2 here. But for the time being, uh, looks like I won't be flying it. <laughs> uh.